and welcome back guys to the LP of Cossacks Back to War the tutorial number 4 out of 5 we are getting very close to that one campaign that will never be done by moi moving on upgrades can carry out in the course of development should go in line with the goals you aim to pursue imagine that depending on the tactics and the strategies selected upgrades are to be performed in a certain order still Every commander has his own way to victory. Let's see that. In the previous mission, we scrutinized the upgrades intended to help you with the economic growth. We have seen that in uh, growing of the freaking weed, of course, which is, was, of course, the most important thing we have, the food resources. In this mission, we'll take a look at the upgrades to boost your military power, which is awesome, of course. You will now learn about improving military units in the game. You can train each type of units, be it infantrymen or cavalrymen, thus improving their characteristics. And look, the screen of awesome! Sadly, all my so-called squads that I had in previous mission are gone, so we only have two squads of pikemen. Sadly enough, we have few knights as you can see here, they're enjoying their day on the sun. Oh wait, we have a multi-barrel gun! which is an awesome weapon of choice if you want to just mow down like a minigun the rest of the forces, okay? Academy, Academy, the research of all researches, where you can research stuff, okay? So now we're getting closer to the 18th century bullshit, where we can learn more about the advanced stuff. As you can see, we have the grenadiers here, the awesome grenadiers, the barracks. Well, actually, this is the mercenary camp. Yeah, that's mercenary camp. We have the stables, of course, the barracks, and yada yada yada. Okay, as you can see, there are two upgrades under each unit icon, as you can see here. On each unit, well, except this one. At the moment, though, that's a drummer. He doesn't really need an attack upgrade. The upper upgrade allows you to increase the attack perimeters. That's the big one. The lower one increases the perimeters, perimeters of defense against direct attack. In total, different infantry units have from 4 to 7 attack and defense upgrades available. Carrying out these upgrades, train your soldiers, turning greenhorns into professional warriors of awesome. Each upgrade carried out affects all the units of, the, of this type that you can possess at that time, as well as those you will build later on. Don't forget to train your soldiers and blah blah blah. For a mob of ill-prepared new recruits always loses to even a small squad of trained warriors, which is quite understandable. Carry out all six attack and defense upgrades for pikemen. If you experience lack of resources, gather more. Or you can get it from the market, of course. So let's get the pikemen only at the moment. Oh wait, don't build a fucking pikemen, don't press on a freaking wrong building also. So let's get the pikemen, of course for you have to like, if you have of course two freaking barracks, you can go on a second barrack and upgrade from that point. We have the second barrack here, let's go for the other upgrade. As you of course can see, you first have to wait a little bit, then get the second upgrade, be awesome about it, and let's see first our mines. Hmm, our mines of awesome. I think only one person can be there, but the game set up like two, I don't know why. Let's upgrade the gold mine first and foremost, and the iron mine, which is actually this. Well, I was thinking in the very first video that this is actually a coal mine. It is not. So let's get the iron. Iron is always important for you to actually build a strong upgrade thingy for your units. So, the coal thingy. How many men? Zero men. Nobody cares about the coal mine at all, actually. So we have a bunch of, of, of course, reserves, if you will, or should I say the defense force, somewhat capable defense force that will defend this uh, main stuff, which is awesome, of course. Let's choose again these guys, I set them on the defense because they're not set up on the defense, they're just standing there enjoying their day on the sun, as I said before, if I said before, I do not remember exactly. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so, we have some Cossacks here, awesome, Don Cossacks, not, not one, no, just a bunch of them, six of them to be precise. Let's get them to the knights because we know the enemy tends to attack from this position, we have nice guns here. Uh, of course, uh, let's see, these gunners, the Strelats, we have a bunch of them, let's regroup these guys here, 
Let's re regroup most of the strats first and foremost until we wait for all the upgrades to be upgraded. But actually, we don't have to wait because we can just press on the barracks, wait. They're actually very fast at the moment. I don't know if it's the tutorial thingy or there's the thingy. So again, you don't really have to put every unit under the command of the commander and the drummer. But it gives you a nice bonus. Plus the upgrades to the pikemen themselves. You can see 15 plus 9 now because we did two upgrades. Third upgrade was on the armor, if I'm not mistaken. And now we have okay. So the fifth, no, sorry, the that is the fifth and the fourth one. Okay, so the fifth for the attack and the fourth one for the defense perimeters. But of course, we have to wait a little bit. So uh, what we do need? Uh, gold, uh, 1,850. Let's see our gold. Gold is a problem, as per usual. Thankfully, we have upgraded the mine. We can put more of our awesome serfs, whatever the surfer dudes. They're not really the yeah serfs, serfs inside of the one of those mines. We only have one at the moment. But why not build more of the populace and gain some kind of advantage again at the beginning of the tutorial? Oh, and we are being attacked by someone, it would seem, or maybe we're dying from hunger. We think we're dying from hunger, right? I don't know. Someone died, and I have a feeling they died from the hunger. Nonetheless, let's get more hungry. I mean, food. Cool stuff. The groovy stuff. The greatest stuff of them all. Again, spearmen a little bit. Let's set up our defense. So-called defense. I mean, not like we have actually a huge amount of forces here. But they will be useful to... Again, you don't really have to put them in defense. But again, if you, if you accidentally choose them, they will, of course, go away from the building unless they are in defensive stance. As now, for instance, I have taken these guys, and now, as you can see here, cancel guard mode. That cancel the defense stance on that building unit or whatever. Maybe a girl. Maybe defense stance on the girl. That's the cool defense stance right there. So, let's see. Let's get the upgrade for the food thingy, because we can, we are able. Why not? If you can just look at it and say, oh, I can actually press on that. Press on that. Uh, food is 2,000, uh, stone we don't care, gold is 1,000, wood is 29,000, iron 5,000, coal 5,000, all in all coal. Of course we can control A and see all the units we have at the moment on the freaking map. So we can find our peasantry that does not want to work and kill them all. 81 peasants not working at all. Ah, the glorious day of peasants, wait, they are working. Okay, that that's my bad, my bad, my totally, totally my bad. I forgot now how to actually choose the guys that actually don't work. Oh well, Control P maybe. Hmm. Yes, Control P. Yes, or I could have just pressed some freaking town hall and just take the sect of idle peasants. Twenty-six peasants. Okay, cool. Get on the food. Of course, a few guys into the freaking mine of Moria and get our nice gold. Iron is okay. Gold is not really. Gold is actually our weakest link at the moment, but we will be needing the third upgrade. For which we need a lot of stuff, actually. 25,000 food. Unbelievable. Gold, 7,750. And wood, 5k. That's a lot of food, water, whatever. Get the upgrade, of course, uh, for the mill. So we can get uh, longer and longer weed growth. Or should I say staying there and being awesome about it. And that's about it. Okay, now we can, of course, get some troops in here. Again, the nice thing, if the mine is actually occupied by a sufficient number of units. You maybe just need one. You click on a group, press on a freaking mine, and only one unit will, well... If you only need one, one unit in that group will go into the mine. So not everybody's gonna go into the fucking building or try to get in a building and just let you know. Again, cool thing, nice thing. You don't have to worry overly of being sensitive, well, having sensitive peasants of awesome. Uh, the, the, again, the men, to me at least, the, the problematic thing about the guard mode is if I choose a two different kinds, I don't have the guard mode option. But they both can guard. You know, so that's to me like, uh, why not? <laughs> I mean, we, we have, you know, then you have to like choose and well, that's okay. I mean, you don't have to have everything like under your thumb, so to speak, just press and work. But again, it would be awesome if it actually could do that. So anyway, get the next upgrade, the last upgrade. Well, how many six upgrades did they say? Nonetheless, it's going to work. So we have, of course, your lads. I'm not gonna build anything at the moment of the units. I think that the uh, the game itself uh, added a lot of units, and plus we have 
the defense cannons are awesome we have the artillery okay the howitzer which i'll actually put a little bit back it has a long range enough well, enough of a long range and i'm, I'm thinking the actually as you can as you can see we don't have ability to actually choose what kind of shell would drop onto the enemy so that means if the enemy is too close it will immediately do the uh, shotgun shell bullshit onto the enemy and just kill a zillion of them a gazillion of them so anyway that works effectively i guess as intended at least so upgrades waiting for the upgrades upgrades see cost a lot of stuff and again we can't build another mill to get more food you know but that's okay we're gonna get upgrades of course using from the academy you're getting some upgrades for the wood chopping uh wood extraction efficiency plus 100 percent maybe no we don't have you we don't need to see the hidden deposits on the map because again uh no point the enemy will attack from those positions and i no need to defend the outer colonies cultivation well sorry cultivate uh, new cultures of wheat harvesting plus 20 percent field capacity plus 200 percent for wheat so cool let's get that i mean bigger capacity cool stuff women will come and glorify us but i think that actually these boats are actually automatically uh, picking up fish wherever it is as you can see it's not like in age of uh, empires where you can see the fish deposits and all that so you just click on them or for instance empire earth or something like that or similar and actually they're just automatically going anywhere uh, maybe maybe i'm maybe not sure there's a fish you never know so we're not gonna care about that at the moment because again i'm not sure <laughs> if the boats actually do that or maybe you can use them for something else but i'm thinking definitely they're fishing boats they're doing their good cool 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 stuff so anyway getting that awesome defense again on all the things i have i think this is the most important part nonetheless uh, still of course we have to build upgrades we can get a fifth upgrade physical training morale defense morale slash well not really slash but defense plus one actually wow well, actually, so there is a morale, but I don't know how it actually incorporates inside the game. We am yet to see, to be honest. Again, we don't have any bars, as far as I know, for the morale. But unless, about here, there is something very interesting here. Wait for me to speak to people. Repel the attack of group of deserters approaching from the southwest. Southwest. That's here, left of me. Okay. Uh, let's talk about this later on. Maybe the game will talk about that later on. That's cool, right? The southwest, eh? Maybe not. Jesus. How about you defend? Douchebags. Attack. The knight attack immediately. So they're attacking again with pikemen. Nothing really serious. Though our this our troops at the moment this position do not have a commander, don't have the nice boost of awesome, but they still have the 16 of attack. That's a nice attack. I think the three was the actually the attack of the of the default troop. Again, a very nice stuff. Excellent. As you can see, your trained soldiers be the untrained. Oh my God, really? Though more numerous enemy forces, hands down. Of course. Now let's go over the cavalry. Select the stable. No. Okay, so the enemy now attacks from this position. Let's again move here because there, there is a freaking a nice awesome cannon of awesomeness. multi barrel cannon of awesome. So I'm gonna put again units there. I should leave these guys here with the commander. Now they want me to use the stables of awesome. But we won't. We won't use any stables of awesome because I don't know if, the, if I should actually spam a few more peasantry and actually do something about that. But, or maybe get first the... Oh, come on. I didn't... I accidentally again pressed. God damn it. The system used to train cavalry units in a stable is analogous to that of the training of pikemen in the barracks. Oh, really? The system we scrutinized just now... Oh, really? Anyway. There are two upgrades under each unit icon. Of course, the upper upgrade increases the attack parameters. The lower improves the defense. Various cavalry units have six attack and defense upgrades each. Cool. Okay, let's get the knights. Because knights look much better than the Cossacks. Uh, forge harnesses for horses is an upgrade of paramount importance to cavalry. For it allows you to create cavalry units four times faster. Nice. Similarly important is the forge new broadsword and sabers upgrade, which increases your cavalry attack perimeter by five. Both of these upgrades can be found in the blacksmith. 
See, now we can see actually the upgrades that you can get from the blacksmith and all that cool stuff. So we're gonna get, of course, the one we can only buy uh, forging new types of broadswords and sabers. Cavalry attack plus 5. Can I fucking do something? There is a building reference system in the game where you can find information on units and building. This is what I wanted to show you. Select any unit and press the U key to see its characteristics pop up in the upper right corner. Having selected the subsection upgrades, you will see how each upgrade improves the unit's attack or defense parameters. Hold the cursor on the number of the improvement to bring up the pop-up menu indicating the cost of this upgrade. To hide the information, we will press U again. Let's do that. Here, see, that's my name of awesome. Occupied territory of awesome, three at the moment. Score is 165, I'm awesome. Casualty list, you have a casualty, market prices. I mean, just uh, the amount is just, you know, ah, oh, sex. Anyway, next is that income and outlay. So, uh, workers in mines, you have the iron, the coal, how many workers in mines. Resources extraction, oh, come on, dude, can I shut up? Maintenance outlay. Maintenance outlay is the number of workers required in your gold mines, maybe fractional, in order to. Oh, now you're just breaking my mind. It's mathematics, really. And provide enough money to maintain certain units, as you can see. Blah blah blah. Maintenance outlay. The units, the cannon quantity outlay, 1.2. Blah blah blah. Nonetheless, lots of math. I don't understand. Among the upgrades are some affecting all types of units and some affecting only particular ones. Thus, in the academy and the blacksmith, for instance, there are research improved steel crate for cuirasses and forge new cuirasses upgrades which add two points to defense of armored units having made these improvements you will have increased defense part of all your armored units carry out one of these upgrades now of course armored units being the knights and the pikemen because they have actual armor on them as you can see the silver thingy so for instance let's again show the unit right press you uh, i'm pressing you that's not you oh, sorry. yeah sorry that that the uh, that uh, press wrong freaking button to see actually I think or oh anyway moving on and this is the U thing so you can see the very definition of everything awesome of this game is so you have the general overview of your thing the upkeep here you see iron per shot coal, coal per shot you know so it's waste is while they're shooting they waste stuff that's just fucking awesome okay building time you see the good stuff the great stuff the sexy stuff and of course if you hold mouse over the pop-up video would actually arise but I'm being a dick about it now Maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining things. Oh, there. There's the top of video. Now, build units to gain points. Losing a unit means twice as many points are dedic deducted from your score. Your opponent gets three time okay, Who cares about scores? Honestly, I never get the point of it. Description. As you can see, a description of every unit you have. So, the strelats armed with a musket suitable for long-range fire. Effective only when combined with infantry. Will not shoot if the enemy is too close. Good attack parameters, takes a long time to create. Awesome stuff, right? Own unit upgrades, as you can see. These are the known unit upgrades for the game. And of course, as you see, it comes uh, with the original. It's 11 firepower, initial firepower, as you can see here. Then plus one, plus one, plus two, nonetheless, upgrade. For instance, let's choose the infantry, aka the spearmen. It's the nine. So we got a plus one on the second upgrade, plus two, then plus three, plus four, but plus one, and plus two, of course. Again. What you need to upgrade stuff and all the good stuff, the sexiness. Okay, cool stuff, right? Okay, moving on. Again, the youth thingy is very important in this game, and it should be noted as is. Okay, some upgrades uh, for again for our cavalry. I think we have another maybe uh, stables. No, we actually don't have stables. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Okay, get the upgrade for the uh, mine of awesome, and be awesome about it. Get our gold up income and be crappy about it also so let's see the upgrades are going as fast as they can get more upgrades for our knights even though we only have like two knights three knights maybe in the game at the moment not like i can actually build stuff thank you very freaking much uh let's get upgrades for our also shooty shooty stuff because again let's get for our cannons because we at the moment have more cannons than our uh, multi-barreled cannons at the moment we don't have any upgrades for the multi-barrel cannons so we're gonna just use the classic cannons decreases cost Speed up building. Okay, so there is no actually upgrade for the damage at the moment, or maybe there isn't, or is in the academy. We're not doing much of academy work, are we? Okay, call to a new culture. We harvesting plus twenty percent, harvesting plus fifteen percent, hmm, harvesting plus ten percent. 
Hmm, let's go with 20 first. Okay, the blacksmith. Kelly attack plus 5. Okay, we're gonna go immediately because we have the moon. Have money. What for what we have money, we shall use it. Nonetheless. It's gonna be very interesting seeing the campaign missions for this game as again they are very hard. Uh, they have their own thingy, and I like that. Again, putting so much love into the game, one should try it out first and foremost before saying anything against it. Again, getting the upgrades for our armor. I don't know where exactly. Where am I supposed to get that, people? Where am I supposed to get that? Uh, I'm guessing the academy is for everything. And there it is. Research improves still. And there it is. Urban soldiers defense plus two. That would actually help me a lot. But again, we don't have much gold. We're waiting for our uh, more suitable hosts, which we can use as an alien hosts and put them in the mines of Moria to work there. Nonetheless, going on. Uh, okay, let's get some of our awesomer guys. Can we? Yes, we can. Now we're waiting for the fourth upgrade for our mines. Uh, third upgrade actually for the iron mines. Again, iron coal we don't really need. But again, as you can see, the the effect is that the shooty guys can actually waste coal while shooting also iron. Right? Good stuff, right? Let's see the general, the unit upgrades, the cool stuff. The, of course, we've seen the damage uh, cost. Yeah, okay, cool stuff, sexy stuff, I don't know what the fuck I'm watching. I forgot already where the fuck I'm supposed to see all that. Groovy, let me see again, Strelats, Strelats, do tell me nice stuff, please. Ah, yes, yeah. so the unit upgrade, no, no, that's not it. God damn it, general, yeah, the general, yeah, yeah, the general upkeep, yeah, yeah, that's where the upkeep is. So for Strelats, of course, they cost every shot, blah, 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 per shot, three of the iron and coal, four. Cool stuff. Of course, uh, the freaking spearmen don't have any upkeep. They are not mercenaries, of course. Mercenaries have a huge upkeep for your awesome stuff. Being mercenary-like. Getting the next upgrade. Again, cultivating. We need more food. How many food we have? 40,000. That's absolutely nothing. But we need gold. The gold is a problematic at this point. I mean, we can't get another upgrade there. At the moment, again, costs a lot of stuff. I mean, uh, wood, 20. 2,000 gold 6,000 and food 41,000 my god I mean that's huge amount of fucking thing I, mean, I have 45,000 the gold is still as you can see very bad we can of course use the market and let's use the market actually let's sell for instance we have a uh, stone we have enough stone to sell stone 61,000 why not Li right who cares about the stone so supply my supply I'm gonna say stone okay I'm gonna give like let's say Let's see if, if, if it actually takes me. No, it doesn't. Okay. So let's say I want to sell around. Come on. Give me like 6,000 stone. Okay. 6,000 stone. And what do I want? I need gold, right? So let's see. Plus. As you can see, of course, you cannot just choose here and it will tell you how much stuff you need. How much uh, certain resource you will need to get this amount? So for two thousand five hundred twenty-six gold, you need sixteen thousand of stone. The markets, man, they boggle my mind. Okay, let's say we because we have over sixty thousand, I can waste a little bit. So let's get eight thousand three hundred sixty-eight gold for fifty-three thousand of stone. Why the hell not? Okay, as you can see, it slowly sips into my coffers, right? It doesn't just give you immediately. Which, of course, you have to count on that also. So if you want 5,000 gold, really? And all you have to wait. And nonetheless, that's how it works. It's, again, I like it. Because, as you can see, it's a dynamic, dynamic thing. You have to wait. And that means that you can't just rush like a little bear on a stick. If you really want a good game. And you want to, like, wait a little bit. Do our stuff. Be awesome about it. Let's just wait. You know, build our defense if you're willing. Or just rush like a little bitch and lose. Maybe. So again, we're gonna get uh, some love uh, for harvesting of uh, food and zee. 
Again, there's only it would seem one upgrade for the mill at the moment, maybe not. But as far as I can see, we can upgrade most of the stuff on the bigger levels. So I'm guessing only one upgrade for the mill. So that aside, uh, we have priests. We don't have priests. Nobody likes them. So I can we can upgrade stuff like let's upgrade strats. Maybe not. Who gives about crap about the strats, right? They cost a lot of gold, and the moment we don't just use gold for the upgrade of our infantry and all other stuff. Now I don't know. I do, I don't I remember what the fuck am I supposed to do? Hmm. I'm talking too much, too fast. Ah yes, getting the armored soldiers and horses. Let's build, I uh, see, build speed two times fast. So let's get some uh, knights in the shining armor. Okay, only cost 130 foot and iron 35. Let's say I want a bunch of these beautiful bitches because, I mean, I have iron, right? No, I don't have any more iron. Again, we need an upgrade for the iron. We're gonna get an upgrade for the iron because we at the moment we have how much gold? Only 1000 again. Coal is 3000, iron is a bitch to get. So that's okay because now we're gonna get more iron love. So let's see, can anyone get more? Yes, we can actually. Yes, we can. I don't think these guys need any love, right? Any more on food? Maybe it doesn't actually. Let's see if every one of them will actually enter. Yes, they will. And no, they won't. Okay, so that's it. Okay, in the American Conquest, the game also done on the same engine. If you actually send, like, get in the freaking mind, you bunch of. 15 assholes, but only mine has like need five. Five assholes will move out of the freaking party, and that's an awesome stuff right there, right? Anyway, American Colors is also a fantastic game. Goes from Columbus to the making of America bullshit. There's many expansions for it. There's only one expansion up and on GOG version, and that's okay because the Empire Nation divided bullshit doesn't really interest me in the American Civil War. Nonetheless, <laughs> wow, only two knights I can build. Thank you very fucking much. Just wait a bunch of money down on nothing. Okay, so let's see. Again, we can get need more gold. Eleven thousand gold. Uh, the upgrades, crap. Nonetheless, we have eighteen peasant, aka the serfs, uh, to actually work on the mines of Moria for our gold income. And that's about it. If you've seen that this tutorial is, will be much uh, longer and longer. Of course, this is the before the last one, so it's quite understandable that we'll have to wait a little bit, right? Let's see again. And of course, this is a nice list because you can show you a few things while we are waiting for a bunch of stuff. Show you information, you, as you can see. Show game information, I. Toggle minimap, and of course, show in inaccessible zones or zones that you cannot access you can go you can go with the infantry or your dogs of war and of course we have the surrender option because it's awesome of course turn on transparent mode which actually see the units behind the buildings forests of hell awesome stuff message history what the last thing they said to you among the upgrades are some affecting types of units and some affecting only particular unit one so yeah for new races upgrade yeah, defense, having made this improvements, you will have the increased... Yeah, 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 okay, next. Okay, we're waiting for the next one. So that's the thing I need to upgrade. It's in the blacksmith. And, of course, I need to wait. A lot. Hope you can wait. Now, let's, let's see. Gold is 5,000. It's going actually steady. But we can, again, sell other stuff. We have 71,000 foot wood, 43,000. Let's go with wood for our awesome, uh, awesome stuff. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get it at for fifty-two thousand oh, uh, wood. We don't have fifty-two thousand wood. Well, then, uh, wait, by one hundred. Can I actually add the fucking number? Give me the freaking number, asshole. Oh man, I have to buy one hundred. Like, you know how much that's gonna take me to press the freaking button five hundred times or something? Okay, let's get at least forty thousand. Okay, we're there. Okay, that's enough. For 5,645 gold. I think that's gonna be perfect. Let's do that. And there it is. Gold, 12,000. Actually, it immediately drops, but you have to wait for the freaking transfer to a complete inside the market. So I'm guessing the values go up and down as they go up and down. So let's get the next upgrade. The upgrade to give more armor on your armored units. And because the most of our armory is the armored units, aka the bikemen, with their cuirasses on, and of course, few knights of the shiny armor of Russia, we can actually do something. 
The upgrade has been completed. All your armored units have acquired a defense bonus. Now let's take a look at the upgrades which allow you to increase the parameters of a shooting unit. Select the academy yet again. Of course you have to learn all this because if not you're noob. Here you can see the upgrades design wheel lock and design paper cartridge and iron ramrod. Ramrod shit. Anyway, nobody cares. This increases your shooting unit's rate of fire by 35% each. That's a lot of percentage. Also, you will find the research granular gunpowder, improved firearms, rifle barrel, research new sulfur rectification method, method, and methods, and research new nitro rectification methods. Wow, really? Upgrade. These increase firepower. Note, mercenaries are not affected by upgrades. Carry out, of course, that's understandable. Carry out both upgrades uh, for the rate of fire and two upgrades to increase the firepower by 10% and 15%. So at the moment we're gonna just concentrate on that. We're gonna, if we want to actually finish this tutorial as fast as we can, because again, there are bigger things, campaigns, sexual tension number seven through eight. So let's gonna see. Nonetheless, we have research granular gunpowder, of course, firepower, uh, software, firepower, and firing power, blah, blah, blah. Right? Cool stuff, sexy stuff. As you can see, the freaking window is now bigger than usual. So, Soldiers defenses, and this is of course for the all soldiers, soldier defense plus two. Let's see, cartridge and iron ramrod, rate of fire by uh, plus 35 percent. That's an awesome stuff. I didn't see how much it cost, but it cares. We're gonna still gonna need a lot of stuff to actually just get that beautiful well, other upgrades because they take time. As you can see, the, the huge amount of money you have to use using the market, using everything else. As you can see, the gold existing thousand now going up. Uh, that's just beautiful of course we're still i'm thinking getting uh, the amount of money we have actually sent as you can see four thousand maybe not i have no idea what the fuck i'm watching moving on so hmm. anyway waiting for what exactly let's see did we finish it no we did actually we did finish yeah rate of fire firepower by 15 and 20 percent right that's what they wanted right the gold 6,000 12,000 mm. I'm gonna get first 15 percent and wait for the gold to get more and more sexual like me and just upgrade that shit uh, let's see who can we actually take uh, they of course cost only food get a few of these guys actually get a 35 yeah like this let's do it like this like a little bitch we are and then, of course, get a few commanders and be awesome about that. Set them over here. And make a few squads of awesome to defend our lines where the knights are alone. Because I'm taking this knight, it's gonna get trampled if the enemy comes from the sea. And they actually, yeah, I can use nicely the awesome, beautiful, how are they called here? Fairies to actually ferry their people across the water of awesome. So. Let's see, the upgrade is done. Get the next upgrade that is 20% and gold is at the moment almost 1000. That's okay, again, it's the tutorial. We'll have to watch that when the actual campaign starts of whatever campaign we actually play. So improvement done, firepower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're not still done, it seems, so we're gonna have to go with the cartridges. Handgun rate of fire plus 35%. We can do that because it only costs 350 gold and iron 2000. Again, we don't have also that many units that actually have the gunpowder. Okay, we don't have many strelats units, these guys. So, not really worrisome situation to actually use and utilize this bastard. Plus, they don't have any upgrades on the original. So, they don't have bonuses as the pikemen do. But pikemen being the more, should I say, cheaper unit and you really need it in a huge amount. Always useful, of course, especially when the enemy attacks you with the horses of power and awesome. Maybe with a few panthers and bears. I mean, bears, really, bear cavalry. Who knows? I mean, we should get that. We're Russians. Maybe the Ukrainians have that. Nonetheless, uh, we've done our upgrades here. We still didn't get the next message of awesome. Let me see the message history. So, carry out both upgrades for the rate of fire and two upgrades. Okay, so both upgrades uh, for the rate of fire and two upgrades to increase the firepower by 10 and 15%. So, we're going to get all the upgrades needed for us to actually utilize and see here 
we need a uh, firing power plus 30 percent we're gonna of course take all the maybe not no firing power and firing power plus i don't know let's get the plus 10 percent i guess uh that's only 7,000 gold or 21,000 gold we're gonna go with 7,000 gold because we can barely get a huge amount of gold now like, there's a 3,000 gold at the moment that's cool uh food wood i'm not really caring too much about getting st other stuff because who cares other than that uh, actually i'm gonna spam a few serves here get actually that wood and stone while we're doing absolutely nothing and waiting for the enemy to attack us again the nice thing about this tutorial in, in, in its entirety is that it places on one map it doesn't change maps it doesn't change locations so you get used to it like you know take time and of course you go and see the difference in the in the you know from map to map and see the scene from scene and you know it, it just gives you like oh i know this map i've already done it a bunch of times but nonetheless we're gonna continue and see that how much it changes through the time and course of war again a limit has been reached on the amount of units we can have let's uh, jump on a few uh, trees like monkeys do and we can't build any more peasant tree as you can see yourself doesn't really matter we're gonna start upgrading wait no <laughs> we're not gonna upgrade that we're gonna wait again for our goal to reach enough so we can actually uh, buy this next upgrade and probably finish the tutorial but well, finish this part of the tutorial not like i'm trying to actually hurry because again uh, the tutorials are progressing from the first one towards this one the freaking um time actually takes a lot of time <laughs> i mean 41 minutes was the last one or something like that on a video that is and i mean wow and that was the third one and this is the fourth one and that it has a huge amount of stuff to talk about so gold is 100 and food 2000 i think i can actually allow myself to upgrade these trillets and actually get some nice stuff uh, the defense of course uh, costs three items aka three resources but the attack only costs two totally okay i can get to another upgrade get my strats up and ready okay now i actually have a commander commander get me those pikemen that are nicely upgraded and let's put them somewhere where they can actually do something i don't know where i don't know how let's put them here i'm thinking the right flank actually needs some love but that's why i put this strats uh, to actually do some stuff again we can't build anything anymore uh, yep, 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 I can do that because only goal is 150. I mean, it's ridiculous. I have food, I have iron enough to actually upgrade the units themselves the way I want them to be. But let's get this dude and put him on the guard mode of awesome. Guard at beautiful town hall, my friend. Guard it well. Now, because I can't really upgrade anything anymore, can't get any more commanders, I'm gonna put the rest of my units that can't do anything on the guard mode of certain buildings so they can actually guard those buildings be awesome about it i actually do have two peasants that i will use immediately uh so yeah okay again more upgrades for my mines of course <laughs> it costs a lot of gold for 6520 yeah i'm not gonna upgrade to the fourth level of the mines of moria so i'm gonna wait again and there it goes the next upgrade for our awesome firepower i like that actually when you press on the upgrade compared to the age of empire or something you go over the freaking action that is actually buying at the moment and you can see again what it, it is giving you you know usually we go like oh for fuck's sake what did i actually choose you know <laughs> it doesn't give you any information in usual games so this way it's very again a very nice attention to detail actually saying okay wait someone will actually think that you actually want to see the research that is being done at the moment what it actually gives you you know, not like, oh, fuck, I researched the wrong thing. You know, while you have time, of course, to cancel the damnable thing. Great! The attack perimeters of your shooting units have increased. Now let's deal with the next level. Artillery. Excellent, the artillery. Beautiful stuff, I have no gold. Okay, there is a multi-barreled cannon at your disposal. Such guns are very effective against infantry and cavalry units without armor. Watch out, though. A squad of brigands is about to attack you from the northwest, the upper left corner of your map. Make use of the multi barrel cannon to repel the attack. Of course, thank you now for putting me actually up there.
Yeah, so I'm gonna, of course, immediately send my guys. I don't know if they're gonna get shot by my awesome stuff. I think, as you can see, this dude died. This dude, this dude actually died from my own uh, multi barreled cannon. As you can see, this all of this infantry, this Turkish infantry, it's dead like a little bitch. They, are, they have no armor at all. They're only the, their little wests of awesome, and they're like, oh, look at my fits. Anyway, as you saw, your method of attack proved quite effective. Still, there are a number of units with the armor that protects them. Multi-barreled cannons are ineffective against such units. Thus, for example, your pikemen are armored. Wow. Really? Select one pikeman to see his parameters in the lower left part of the interface. The pikeman's defense against the, this method of attack is 150. Ah, now the lower part. Now we can actually see the details. Of course, multi-barreled cannons are unavailable when you have just built an artillery depot. To make them available, you must conduct the upgrade Design multi barrel Cannons. Select the Academy. So let's see, these guys, like, I'm awesome and shit, you know, like, I'm cool and shit. I'm gonna put them here, of course. Uh, actually, in front of them, as, you, as we have seen, four of our guys, uh, five actually, died in front of the barreled awesome thingy. Uh, let's see. So, of course, you can see the amount of bullets it actually has, I think. This is the... Or maybe that's actually... That's actually the damage. This is the armor. My bad. And, of course, as you can see, this is actually not the grenades. I, in first win, uh, first video, I think I said this is like a bunch of grenades you can throw at the villains and all that shit. Of course, it's not. Of course, right? Anyway. So, that's a 150 against piercing from the muskets and all that shit. That's awesome stuff, by the way. It would be awesome if actually when I scroll over it, that would say exactly what it means. This is the sword, this is the other thing, this is the other thing, this is a something other thing. Maybe the arrows, maybe not. And these are the bombs, actually, they have, maybe, who knows. Nonetheless, that's the stuff we have. Okay, now let's build the stuff that we need for the academy. Good, now conduct a multi barrel cannon upgrade inside the artillery depot. Build one multi barrel cannon there. And now we'll finally build a multi barrel stuff. Okay, building that stuff, I don't know how much it costs, actually. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. We're building it nonetheless. Of course, our beautiful cannons waiting there to actually shoot someone in the fucking head. And then they'll die, probably. Maybe. Maybe. So, let's see. Uh, okay, is it done? Is it done? It's done. No, it's not done because I'm not pressing the fucking wrong thing. Now we can actually build these guys. multi bell cannon only costs 450 gold and iron 150. It doesn't have any upgrades at the moment. Maybe it doesn't have, actually have any kind of upgrades for it. Probably doesn't. You know, we would actually see it be, of course, under it. How it actually does, and of course, mortar doesn't. But that's okay. That's totally okay. As you can see, the research of it alone takes quite a bit of time. So, the mining stone extraction efficiency plus 100%. It would be awesome if that it really means gold extraction, but that's okay. I'm not gonna care because it's cost 1550 50 gold pieces and iron 3000 it actually takes a lot of time plus to upgrade maybe it should the upgrades take are very fast which is maybe a thing that i don't like because i think if you're gonna upgrade to anything maybe again the tutorial maybe because of that we'll see as in campaign goes but again maybe in the tutorial it's faster but anyway i don't like that usually you don't because i think the research should always go very slow always because it tends to not like spam to the next stage bullshit that i hate in age of empires because that's the point of it get to the bigger age you get fucking guns they got freaking bows oh really who's gonna win <laughs> nonetheless right now let's take a look at the cannons cannons are two units which fire balls at your face they can also fire grape shot if a target is close enough that's what i was talking about at the very beginning select the artillery depot again fucking fucking stable under the cannon icon, you can see two upgrades, of course. Foundry mechanization and develop new metalworking methods. These allow you to diminish the cost and the building time of cannon. So it doesn't really add to the damage. A howitzer is a bomb firing short range artillery unit. Howitzers are effective against troops and buildings alike. Unlike the cannons, howitzers conduct curved fire and can strike the target over the surface irregularities. As for the cannons, with the help of the upgrades, foundry mechanization and develop new metalworking methods, you can diminish the cost and the building time of the howitzers. Finally, a mortar is an artillery unit with an exceptionally long range, effective only against buildings and constructions. 
the flight path of the mortar projectile is curved so that they can strike a target over surface irregularities. So we know for what they're being used, but they're being awesome. We get our multi barrel cannon finally. So we now have to conduct a next upgrade. So the upgrades for our awesome cannon and uh, the awesome stuff. Uh, maybe not. This is the ideal time to demonstrate the power of the conventional cannon and howitzer. A group of enemy troops is moving out from the thicket. Disable the cannon's attack by clicking on the corresponding icon. When the enemy is close, enable the attack. Grape shot. Uh, which cannon? Okay, that cannon. Let's say I don't want you to fire. Hold, cancel. Uh, oh, it's a disable attack immediately. Thank you. And then enable attack as they are close. Attack. See? And now this is gonna constantly fire as long as it can. Of course, the guys again who can actually hit the damnable thing and can actually kill him, destroy him immediately because it's very easy. Our knights immediately attacking the spearmen. Spearmen, of course, being. You don't having any, any upgrades on our, of course, uh, Vites. Knights have actually quite a lot of upgrades, so that's awesome. Hopefully th that wasn't too hard. Select any mountain unit except mercenaries. Of course, I already selected them because I'm doing the freaking thing like in Southern Strike. Anyway, in the lower left part of the interface, you can see the e icons for building up mountain formations, as you can see here. Gather 40 units of one type, Don Cossacks. Select one of them and clicking on the formation icon to create a formation. Cavalry unit information receive a bonus, just as infantry units do. You can create formations of fast cavalry units. A spot of Don Cossacks has joined you. Thank you for giving me a free freaking thing. Where are they, Don Kozaki? Hmm? Where are they? If you run out of lodgings, build several izbas. Selecting the town hall shows you the number of lodgings available below and the number of units you have above. The number of lodgings should significantly exceed that of the units. Town hall, number of lodging, population, maximum population, and that's about it. What do you want to, what do you want to tell me? Population 366, max population, oh, max population is 350. I mean, it, I guess it won't tell me how much at the moment we have max population. The max population usually goes into 8,000, mind you. So, you can really rape uh, those villagers. So, we have to, what now? Build a bunch of Don Cossacks units again. Now I'm pressing this thing. So, let's build these assholes. 45, right? Let's go with 50 because 50 is a cooler number than 45, I guess. And, yeah. Okay, man, my freaking like thing. Oh my god, they're attacking again. Oh, they these guys are attacking. Oh, get the formation. Oh, wait, ah, oh, now I have a formation. Ah, oh, like, I don't have to build Kadan Cossacks. Wow, how stupid I am. You stop. Of course, we can't build, of course, because population limit has been reached. Mind you. Okay, so 45. We have one group of awesome Don Cossacks in the Wedge Formation. I think this is actually the Wedge Formation, but this is... Yeah, Wedge Formation. I'm awesome. Wedge Formation, Square Formation. That's a Square Formation. It looks like a Line Formation. Nonetheless, Rank Formation. I guess it's quite different for each of the infantry. Now we... Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Strelats. There are a bunch of Strelats coming down the hill. Of awesome. Our guys here are like, I'm gonna shoot him. So we have uh, 23 Cossacks here, uh, but they can't do shit, it would seem. The Tsar has sent you a squad of Don Cossacks and a regiment of Strelats to rip off the raids of Tatars expected from the southeast. Okay. Southeast is that way, by the way. But that's okay. Oh, a nice thing of them to actually go them themselves. This side. They're gonna attack uh, this side, mind you. So that's gonna be awesome. Hey, they're sending everything against me! Oh, crap. Let's again make a nice, actually, this formation, the line formation. The time taking it's a line formation, not the wedge formation, but it's actually the copper formation. I don't know. This guy, 23 of these guys, they're gonna stand here. I don't think they need to stand there, so I'm gonna send them here. Uh, again, we have uh, now two squads of Don Cossacks being, of course, Waiting for the enemy to attack from the southeast, mind you. South is down there, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> and east is this way. So the only way for them to actually attack is oh my god, from everywhere! Uh, 
Attack! Attack, you fools! Ah, uh, crap. Well, that didn't work. Oh, wait, I have Sir Lutz. Ah, you're screwed, man. You're freaking screwed. And now they're attacking from that side. Those bastards. They have no morals. As you can see from the side, you can barely kill a few guys. As you can see here, my valiant, awesome, uh, freaking uh, knights are actually defending nicely because these guys actually are only freaking Tartars. They have, as you can see, bows. They can't really do shit against us. Awesome stuff. We have our knights actually nicely controlling the entire area because, again, knights' heavy armor being upgraded at the, in the, by the most and Don Cossacks. And we're losing Don Cossacks by a huge margin compared, of course, to just a few awesome knights in, in nice shining armor. We're gonna do this nice. I like this. I mean, again, the guard mode on your units actually works as intended. The enemy has only a nice uh, amount of... Uh, Infantry that can actually only spam their arrows of awesome. Again, there is a huge amount of them, sadly. And they can actually defeat us, it would seem. Let's get our strelats and put them here and just kill them with our machine guns. We're gonna leave this squad of awesome, aka of Don Cossacks, already in the team with the upgrades with one more uh, a squad of awesome units, aka the pikemen, that are all also upgraded in a huge by the huge margin. And actually defend the entire area. Now these guys, the only problem with them is actually that we don't have any knights to actually chase them. Uh, again, uh, many knights dead probably? No, actually they're waiting here. As you can see, two knights of awesome. But again, uh, awesome, beautiful strelats are actually doing a huge damage onto the enemy. And we can actually uh, move command towards this position. Move attack command. And they're gonna, of course, be shooting them into the face. Uh, my two knights are awesome about this, they're actually finding well, as you can see the damage on them by the freaking arrow is absolutely nothing, but again, one, I think one dies, no, that's actually them, that's the Tathers, and they're, they're black armor, it's awesome, Genghis Khan bullshit, we have only one knight at the moment, uh, barely and a few health, thankfully they are not like uh, freaking arrows of evil, where they can actually damage you by time, aka okay, the poison arrows of awesome, so they can kill this nice awesome beautiful knight in shining armor i'm doing it saying awesome too much but that's okay because i'm awesome nonetheless it works oh boy those guys don't give up do they come yes come to my billions of freaking strelats bravo it seems to be time to progress to the 18th century a victory all best to you guys